mid push, trying to get up behind them early on as G2 looks for aggressive A control. In fact, they're still Ooh. looking for it. They lost short, Ooh. but they just run out on sight and Artis picks up a double. What is this? <laughs> this is aggression. This is confidence. This is G2 at or off the angle and find every duel along the way. That is nuts and one hell of a confident way to start this out. NIP tried to come in with their own confidence, but they got outmatched in that department. Yeah, that's not pretty at all. Oh dear, but at least Nip, right? We saw this before. When they come in with the pistols on the second round, where it's G2 that have the weapons, they almost got the win. Can they do it this time around? Remember, there's a few choke points they could find themselves falling into. They're trading out for now, but it's just pistol power because you know what like, G2 likes to do? Not upgrade too far into some of these rounds. Lucker needs to be very careful, though. Instantly, the smoke goes down, and Lucker, he might want to be sneaky. He might want to try and poke through this. Fear off there to back him up, but G2 have backed away. Running for the hills. I mean, at the moment for G2, they should get control over this C site. Hip was trapped in the corner. He was stunned up as well. Great opening by Breach. And now you end up in a spot where, you know, three versus two. You can hold down these closer angles. You've got Mixwell to dance with death from afar. The Bulldog in play. Ooh. Oh, he's not doing too well. With and, and Bulldog's coming into the third. Yeah, I've always been a fan of that. Whether it's Counter-Strike or whether it's Valor. And I think second round buys when you're versus an Eco. You oh don't want to invest fully. This is a hell of an aggressive push, though. NIP trying to get up in their opponent's faces. Oh. But the return flash. This is dangerous now. Out goes Ryan for one, but he's dealt with. And so is Cree. David P came through through with a flash he's got a couple he's got three and with that the kills go massively in g2's favor they're able to oh. smoke off heaven but it doesn't matter mixwell goes through for the kills before they even land and did you see how far paratech got as well he rushed up short while the rest were dealing at long he was in the site before the two players even went down now lucker thinks he can turn something around here but he's got a hell of a lot more work to do and that work is going to be completely ended by piff he's the boss in this play it's a 1v2, certainly possible here for Hit, but they know exactly where he's got to step in the first place. And now on 3 to 0, they're in a pretty comfy spot. You shouldn't be facing too much resistance in this round, and NIP, they're going to take the, the ult orbs at the start, and really, if, if they get one or two kills, that would be ideal. There's not a whole lot I expect from them here. Yeah, it's all about the extra damage for them to try and do, and... Realistically, when you're trying to fight onto B site, there's so many angles you just get smoked out from. You can't see through. G2 can just hold it quite comfortably, especially when you're on lesser weapons as well. For Nip, though, it's about damage control, right? What can you take away from him? What else can you at least try and take away into this next round? Can you get some additional kills to get yourself some alt points while not giving away too many on the other side? There it is. Taking Ooh, one onto Pith. It's Ooh. looking all right with the, the classic kill, but nothing else comes. And you know, again, this is not a round where you expect a massive deliverance. Took away. Look at that. Mm. Little opening tickle towards Patatech. In a little bit of trouble. Flash through. No return by Ryan. He's gonna, oh, he's being pushed down. No idea that Mixwall's close, but his teammate comes through for the support. He's going to try to back out of here, but I don't know if he's going to be allowed. Hit swinging Ooh. on through, but Ryan delivers with two. That is great work, but David P does a world of hurt towards them. No, he's won that clutch perfectly. The flash used to pull the player off, and then he swings through with a, a great time. What? A, whoa! David P, hello! That man's just bunny hopped out mid looking for a fight. He found one in Looker, but not one that went his way. They're off getting a bit of damage done with the Hunter's Fury. Actually finds Pip with it as well. Great start coming out here for NIP. But it was 5v2 last time around. And G2 still managed to win it. So you can never count them out of it. I'm not going to get overly excited for what Nip can do. It's now about minimizing mistakes. As Mixer once again wants to peek his way into B. But he's waiting for a bit of backup this time around. You know, this map is typically attacker side at 57% over in the level Valorant Clash. Managed to win out their attacking side for 57% of the rounds. And right now, you know, okay, GT were ahead, but they got the pistol round. They've had some early round build up. It's those clutches. That's the problem. You know, that's where you see, you know, Banks, with, uh, with bladders empty and tech issues resolved, shall we say, look, oh, look here. I don't like that. You cannot get no. out of there as Jet. There's no escape. Yeah, he can't back away quick enough, but it's not possible. Mixo comes up high, somehow doesn't get taken out. Kree's got to be oh so careful. He pulls into the pistol, but it's not going to work out. Lesser weaponry for G2 on some players, but Ryan, 
He believes he can make it his time. Hips there backing him up as well. But is it enough? The spike's down. It's a 3v2. NIP on the back foot, but they can quickly turn this in their favor. Hip's going to try and play it smart. Alt's going to be popped, but is that even going to be enough? Fear of droning forward, but it's not going to work out. It gets destroyed before he can get any information from it. David P trying to back away. He's getting tagged up just a little bit, and he's only just about able to escape. Zero players detained, and this could be the difference between winning it and not. Hip very full focus down on C Long, and both players gonna be there. Oh, right up in his grills. They know what's going on. The overdose being used, but Panatech still goes down. It's the jet playing um, more aggressive on on a, a corner so that they can dash back behind the cover. I hear needs to be good for at least one here. Start tapping away. He does get it done, but as many players surrounding him. G2, they've gained control of the B site. The spike is down and nicely done from Ryan. Mix well up high, doesn't expect it. No smoke able to give him the cover. And this may give Nip the chance to push in. Paratek spots out the drone. He's still also going to be spotted out himself. Oh, but he's not going to escape that. Lucker comes in with a charge. The shots are going to work out, but David P... Oh, you've got to be oh so careful here. You're very far away. They're on top of it. Locker's going to be forced off, though. Great use of the abilities coming out here from G2, but is it going to be enough? He's already got it over halfway. He dies to it as well. They're not on it in time, but the kills are going in favor of NIP. They... Now, one thing that's really interesting here, Mix, is these rounds that we've seen from NIP, they've come close, but they've weathered the storm. G2 may have money, may still be buying on it. But if they can just get this round here, which is already looking good. Locker hitting some incredible shots. Locker dropping them like flies. Looking for more. It's not going to work out. But already enough damage has been done. Paratek backing away. Wants to ensure that he's not going to get spotted out here. Fear of spot's going to be known now. But he's also going to be aware of where one other player is for now. The battle of the Sovers. Artis has got to be quick on it. Spike's going to be picked up. But he needs to find another kill for sure. Oh, I like this. Corner. Yeah, nice decision. Oh, he's been spotted though. <laughs> the shot so close. Almost on him. Firoth goes for the long shock dart, trying to catch him underneath. And there it is. Kree just shutting it down. Nice little double for him. That is the round concluded with a defuse. And look, we said about the attacking side, 57% of rounds when yeah. it came through to the previous EU Ignition Series event. Well, I mean, at the moment, G2... They're actually not too hot. They're not doing too well. Jippy. That's a, a pretty kind of makes sense. Yeah. They, they don't know what pressure is. They've never been put under. Mixwell. Hello. Ooh. This guy's just out in the open. He's missed all his shots, though. That is not something that you'll get away with all too often. Hip sprayed, though, and taken down. Now Looker's able to exact some revenge, though. Taking down Mixwell, the head-to-head -head that we wanted to look at earlier. And we're seeing it right there. Into a 3v3. Smoke. But Looker wants to go through it. He's looking to push on the back of it. Gets a kill up close. David P. wrecked as Looker. Oh, my Ooh. God. What is that? Pith deleted. And Looker's looking for even more classic in hand here comes a tp free as can be lookers go maybe they could have focused over towards looker and, and taken away the space that he was given to pull that round off it's a pretty devastating situation and it's made even oh. worse now by fear opening this round up with a double hit of his ultimate some more damage coming out there he was trying to do as much as possible already and g2 again they're just struggling to get in oh nice position here from mixwell Dashes his way in, finds himself two kills, even grabbed himself an operator, but runs straight into the hands of Hip. Luck is there as well. And even with G2 getting these openings, it might not be enough. David P spamming it up. But now it's a 1v2. They've only got Lucker to find. And they're being very cautious. The flank might be the one that comes in. They need to also be able to grab that spike. Swapping over the weapons, and I like the decision on it. Luck is going to have no idea. Should have expected it though, if the, if the spike had been called, they'd been dropped. Maybe it wasn't seen from that spot. Just looking at where people died. Yeah, I I imagine they would have seen it, but yeah, may, maybe not. It, it is a bit of an odd one, but the rotate. Oh, there we go. Okay, it's spotted towards C now. Looker knows what's going on. He'll be able to get himself into a position in garage, and they don't have anything to wall him off. Oh, no, he's actually going to go towards the spawn. Lucky as well, because his garage is actually being pushed at the moment. He might have found a small gap as he pushes forward, gets himself into a decent position. He's got his smokes left. He's got his dash as well, so he can find a kill and get away with it. 
He hears Always a heard a footstep. Right, G2 may have started off where I started it, and my god, it was it they're difficult, man. Oh, hold on. Mixwell, Ooh. hello. And there's the benefit of the jet. He's able to get out of there, not unscathed, but alive at least. Whew. Not just unscathed, he lost every part of his body. He's got 22 health to back away with his nip. They change up what they were planning to do. Cree's got himself in window. He's looking to push on it, but he pushes straight into Piff. Less than ideal. Hip is nearly getting a kill, but Arnis is backing him up. They're going left and right. Center forward everywhere right now, but it doesn't matter for Nip because they're all going down. Luck is trying to battle back and he still manages to get one through. It's always difficult, Banks, at this stage of the game after a big update to come in and say, oh, this is how they play the map. They're playing different agents. Yeah. They're playing the game completely differently. This is a team that have struggled with their identity, as we said. So there's so much that is just completely irrelevant in a way. At the same time, it's still worth mentioning that, you know, this is definitely a side that we expect them to thrive on. And look at this, the classic push. I don't mean one that we see a lot. I mean, that's the weapon they're using they got the classics in hand <laughs> the base pistols and they're opening it up as well now a five versus four and a little bit more doable still up against the majority smgs though this is where g2 should be able to clean it up with the hp that's left over an nip palatech just patiently waiting down at c long soon to see some of these players they jump spot across they all start to push him this is gonna be a weapon going in the hands of nip well mitch you said about it the problem here is giving away a couple of weapons, you give Nip a great chance. Losing the pistol is not so bad, but losing the Bulldog here, this can be very uneasy now, especially as they still got 40 seconds to play with. They don't have to directly commit to one place. They can still keep G2 guessing. Mm -hmm. Make Ooh. sure that they're not able to over-rotate until the push is coming through, and that's exactly what's happening now. But still two players in position oh, 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 over oh, towards G2 oh, oh. and spraying away. But Hip is here to save the day. He's good for one, but he's got to do a little bit more. He has the spike, and he can't get to the site. 15 seconds, take away a lot. G2, they don't have an answer. They can't push into the window just yet. They can't find any movement towards Gary. I don't actually know, where do you go? Do you just save? See, the thing is, they came into this round with mixed weapons. In fact, that fight that was taken down mid was with oh, a no. stinger. I, I don't think that's the, the best it plays. Really? There we go. Now they save. They've managed to find yeah. an operator. That is a weapon that you're definitely going to carry through to the next round. And a bulldog, you've heard me say it a million times. I love that weapon. It's my favorite weapon in the game. Okay, it's not the best weapon. I'd definitely rather have a vandal, but it feels damn good. You know, when you're getting the kills on the ADS, three burst, oh my, it feels good. I don't know what it is, why it feels so good. Maybe it's the bass <laughs> on the bullet sounds, but I love it. <laughs> the bass on the bullet sounds. That's what convinces you to go for it. Yeah, dude. It's all about, you got to feel, it's not about how powerful the gun is. It's about how powerful the gun feels, you know? Yeah. That's, that's what I'm after. And that's why you I just don't feel like you're rocking with it. You're like, I got this. You look at NIP, they're very spread out, but they've pushed straight up C long. It's a very yeah. aggressive play, considering the buy they're up against as well. You know this is going to be given completely for oh. free. And there it is, Pith able to find one, but he doesn't expect the second player out. But see, the problem is now they've got to go all the way around and pick up that spike and move to site. That means that obviously G2 are going to be ready to come back in for this no. retake. Artist didn't fully check mid. He lazy, lazy. peeked it. That is unfortunate you gotta be checking your corners and the lurk pays off as MIP pull into a man advantage but not for long the lazy peaks not checking corners is always the thing that we talk about over and over oh. again as hip how did he miss that one onto david p he should have had him dead to rights but now it's a 3v1 fear off in the back of the side he's trying to get some information he's trying to get mixwell taken down he's looking for more but it's not gonna work out g2 surround him g2 swarm all over him They'll grab the ninth round. They'll keep a they'll overrun the A site, though. Overtaking control, shutting these players out using the Nano Swarm. And with that, a guaranteed spike plan. They're even going so far as to clear out heaven. G2 got plenty of those flashes to expand. Now look at that old placement. There is no safe ground. I don't think they're safe underneath. And so with three seconds left, they're going to try to start ulting through to catch these players on the hunt. That's an ult that they didn't really want to spend at that point either. G2 forcing it out of them. G2 large and in charge with five still alive. And it's just getting better and better for him. Hip trying to play off the side. His position isn't known just yet, but oh. Piff swings on it. Well, to stop them going in for the retake. But unfortunately, still, there was there was no reward for it. Losing out the round, finding yourself 10 to 7 behind is G2. They start to become oh. a little bit dominant. They start to become confident. The one for one trades, not ideal. Turned into a two for one with oh, Luka. Looker's right in the sight. He is lurking around here and making these players very nervous. They're just dashing out of there, Lucker. 
being such a nuisance, but the turret's being a nuisance to him. David B still getting away with that kill. And G2 looking to put some aggression on long. Mixwell's found Rhyme as well. Well, that's not a shot that Lucker needs to be missing either. The push is still coming through. David P off the edge of it. He's not finished yet. Flashing out. He's looking to do so much more. They eventually take him down. But it's already a 4v2 and Lucker's health is incredibly low. Oh, this is not going to go well. Oh. Padatek got there just in time to hold the angle and just completely shred him. With that, it's a four versus one. NIP in a position where, I mean, they, they cannot be comfortable right now. Kree is oh. tucked underneath. He's made steps. They don't want to have any of this right now. They might not want to. In fact, I don't think they want any of this map anymore. They're starting to really regret how this veto went down. David P opening it up onto Kree. And look at the confidence that's in play. They're even going to just go through on an ult, or at least it looked like it. As Patatech gets a sneaky little flank. The TP over towards their spawn side. Out he goes. Loses his life, but it's still a 4v3. Favor still for G2. They've got ultimates to work around, but so too to the NIP side. David P, what is this? An aggressive play if ever I've seen one straight through towards their spawn. Ooh. And Knife just gives him a haircut on the mustache. And then he's taken down all the way as Ryan finishes it off for him. Three versus three. And much more winnable now for NIP. Yeah, this could be what they needed. An over-aggressive mistake from David P. But Piff is still hanging in the back of the site. Oh, oh my God. He still gets away with it. Good for one, but it's one and done. Ryan's able to put an end to him. The spike can be planted. But Ardis working his way in. First headshot delivered the second player. He's now spotted out. It's a 2v1 and Ardis just waits for a teammate if he wanted to, but it doesn't even matter. It's Ardis. He's doing what he does best. He's delivering headshots. He's delivering kills. And G2 taking